Hi, my name is Joe Pollock. I'm the Vice President of Aquatic Nutrition. We are the makers of Blackwater Creek's brand of koi foods, as well as fishing baits and fishing attractants and feeding stimulants. A lot of people ask us, you know, how did you get started? Uh, well, way back before Blackwater Creek and Aquatic Nutrition, I was tasked at my first job in developing a diet and a protocol to teach largemouth bass to eat a stationary fish food pellet. You see, in California, the largemouth bass is used as a food fish in the Asian community very, very strongly, and we could get $6 a pound if we only grew them to 10 to 12 inches. So uh, we would take these fish, put them in very, very large tanks, and my task, again, was to develop this food and this protocol to wean them from a live prey onto a pellet so that we could grow them as quick as we could. And that's where a lot of my training came from originally. Fast forward quite a few years, we started Blackwater Creek Koi Farms, and we were looking around at the market as to what type of foods were out there, what were the costs. Uh, we had contacted a company in hopes of having them manufacture some food for us with some specific ingredients, and we just found that um, they did not want to do the work for us. They wanted to sell us their brand. Um, over time, we were able to work with the company and then develop our own formulas and then develop machinery to actually produce some of the diets that we, we provide now. People ask, you know, where, where does the cost come from? What makes a good food from a, from a bad food? You know, why would I use a Blackwater brand versus brand X? They said, well, the, the things really to look for are the ingredients label uh, the best you can. So when you look at a bag of food and look on the back, there's, the ingredients are listed based on inclusion rate. So the first item on that ingredients list is what that food has the most of it in. And really what you're looking for is fish meal uh, being the top thing. That's an animal, pro uh, an animal protein that supplies the amino acids that are needed for the fish's growth. Second to that, some good uh, quality plant proteins as well. And then down the list you're going to get vitamins and minerals and other, other things. Uh, with our color foods, color foods are there to help promote color. It actually pigments the flesh of the animal that shows through as a red pigment and helps to, to brighten up and show through into the scales and give them that bright color. It is true, uh, the fish get their colors from what they eat. So it is important to supplement them with certain things that they can't get in the wild or in your pond. If they were out in the wild themselves, they would be eating crayfish and other things that have that pigment. But when they're in your pond, they don't have that supplement uh, uh, from nature, so you're going to have to supplement it, it yourself. Uh, another thing that we were asked about a lot is, okay, well, high protein. This food is higher protein than that food. Uh, does that make a difference? If it's higher protein, well, then it's got to be better food. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Uh, we could make a pellet that is 100% uh, corn gluten meal, and that pellet would have 70% protein. However, it'd be like saying, well, I'm getting my calories from eating Cheetos all day. Well, yes, you can, but eating Cheetos as a diet uh, solely is not going to make you healthy. So again, having a balance. Fish meal, shrimp meal are two of the main things. Uh, wheat, wheat flour uh, for your protein source. Soybean even is a, is a good uh, product as well. So reading the label is very, very important. The other thing that uh, people don't realize is, is reading the label and seeing those top four ingredients doesn't necessarily tell the whole story. For instance, these diets may contain up to one-third fish meal. And what type of fish meal is it? It's Menhaden fish meal. It's a wild-caught fish that has a very good amino acid profile. Now, by law, when you put fish meal on your label, that fish meal could actually be ground up catfish heads from the processing plant. It's still considered fish meal. So there's really no way for you to determine uh, other than ask what type of fish meal is in, in the product or what, are, what, what ingredients are there. And if the person selling the food or supplying the food to you can't answer that, they probably don't know. Uh, here at Aquatic Nutrition, making Blackwater Creek foods, uh, we use Menhaden fish meal, we use food grade shrimp, uh, we use wheat, and then we use a lot of vitamins and minerals. And that's really the basis for the diets with some other things added in, fish oils to add the fats and so on. Um, different times of year, you're gonna to wanna to use different types of foods. In the summertime, you want a high growth, high fat diet to where the fish can bulk up going into the fall. 
As the water starts to cool down, then you're going to want to use an easier digestible food that is lower in fat, uh, such as a wheat germ or a wheat-based diet that's more plant-based and allows them to digest easier than they would the plant or the I'm sorry the fish uh, proteins. So Blackwater Creek has four main lines of fish food. One we have what's called Max Growth, which is a fish meal and shrimp uh, diet that's designed as an all-around food. In the south here, some people choose to feed it uh, year-round. Uh, we also have a color-enhancing diet that has uh, some, some red pigments in it and some algaes that help to bring out the reds and, and brighten the yellows in the fish. We have a cool season wheat-based diet that's designed for the cooler seasons. If you're, up, uh, if you're up in the northern part of Florida, in Jacksonville, Georgia, that area, you'd be using this when the water temperatures get down below about 60 to 65 degrees and use that through spring. And we also use the cool season diet to feed our broodstock up until they lay their eggs because it is easily digestible, it is low fat, so it allows them to, to have the nutrients they need to support these eggs without getting too much fat around it and getting what uh, people call egg bound, which is a issue to where the fish can't release their eggs during breeding. Now, after your fish have laid eggs, or our fish have laid eggs at Blackwater Creek, we use what's called golden professional diet, which is a very high fat, very high protein fish meal diet, and that gives them an extra boost of nutrients to help them to get back into condition uh, for the summer. Uh, we also grind that diet up and we use it for our fry because it, produce, it, it provides all of the nutrients that are needed as well as some probiotics uh, on top of it to help with digestion. So in recap we have maximum growth, we have a color enhancing, we have a cool season for the fall and winter, and we have a professional diet that is chosen to be used by a lot of high-end hobbyists to keep very high-end fish. One of our top retailers partners in uh, Florida is Earthworks. They're located up in the Jacksonville area. Uh, they do carry all of our varieties of food. Uh, they're purchasing it quite often. They're moving volume, which means you're getting a fresh product at a great price right there in your hometown. Mm -hmm.